Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So this is an update about Hyperland Premium. Vaxtery himself has left a comment, and as I actually joined the stream the other day, that was nice. Uh, but here's his post about Hyperland Premium. So, yes, it's real, okay? It's the official website. I did not get hacked. Hyperland is not going closed source. Uh, it says that in the first sentence on the page, no paid features, no beta branches, etc., did not see that they must have clarified that uh we will continue development as always why money i need something to eat too again as i said uh once i end university if i can make this my full-time job i will severely decrease my contributions in favor of real-time job if this gets us nowhere it will be it will be only with benefits to you the users if i get enough money to hire another guy to help me work on hyperland full-time i will so here's what i'm gonna say do it support this there's no reason not to honestly uh already on forum.hyper.land to log in you need a hyperland account eh, that's why we haven't fully launched them yet premium forums additional categories on the same forum for premium subscribers these include premium support where you get the answers from me instead of the community at large there's a q a and some chats between the developers and you which is nice now, free desktop experience. Dot files provided with from by us with a one-click install and updates. I'm gonna try that. Uh, premium desktop experience, same as above, but with more customization options. Dot files, bar, what's inside, what button, where, and so on. Uh, further premium services. A general catch-all clause, if any premium services come out in the future, they will most likely be a part of the premium subscription. This might be dot file sync or any other ideas we don't know and we didn't say. See, clarifying that to begin with on the page itself would have been mind-blowing. Like add a fact section, you know? Uh, clear up some statements because everything that was said was very vague. And yeah, you could have watched the stream, but honestly, there was so much honestly going on in that stream that it was kind of hard to keep track of. I don't, I'm not used to such, you know, chaos, but I'm glad that he went and he clarified all this because this makes life a lot easier because this is something I would definitely go and support. Kind of want to try the dot files, you know, I want to see what they're like. I want to do a video on them. Uh, if I'm allowed to, that would be awesome. And yes, people and developers do need to eat. That's what makes things very, very, very helpful. Plus, imagine if you could do Hyperlin as a full-time job. The amount of bug fixes, the amount of features that would go into this, everything would just skyrocket all the way up. Ah, uh, that gets me a bit excited. There's a reason I'm still on Hyperlin, because the odd feeling went away. And he jumped in stream, just like, okay, I, I kind of get it. I understand. You know, it, it's really, really nice to see this. And uh, this Reddit post was actually sent to me through uh, Ko-Fi, where you can donate to me if you want, or uh, donate monthly. Both extremely help with my current situation. And I will definitely be checking this out, because this seems like a really good thing after every bit of it. But it's still going to set some people off. It's still going to make some people uneasy, I'm sure. There's going to be some opinionated people in the comments. There always is. But look don't be that nasty dude all right just s say things in a manner that doesn't set the world off how about that how about we just talk about this like actual adults instead of angry entitled little children we don't need that all right everything can be spoken about in a good timely manner i get this i understand this just the same way that if I could make YouTube my full-time job, I honestly would. I have the effort to put in. I have the knowledge to do it. But it's just difficult because I work in such a niche little side of YouTube where I teach things like Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 5, uh, CryEngine at one point. I, uh, I did streams with Maya. I moved to Linux. I did emulation. All those things are just parts of me and most people don't know that i am a self-taught uh individual in unreal engine so yeah and maya and substance painter and speed tree and every other application under the sun including zbrush you name it i have been i have 
basically learned it all on my own. So I understand where he's coming from completely, and I would love for him to work on Hyperland full time, either via donations or this premium feature. Both would be fantastic. Anyway, I hope this clears some things up. I'm glad that he cleared some things up. I hope your takeaways from this is, yeah, I get where he's coming from. I'll help support him or I get where he's coming from, but I'm just not into it. You know, a good and solid non-toxic conversation in the comments. I'll be looking out and I don't know. Let's see what uh, people come up with and maybe I'll make a video about the comments section again. Uh, it depends on how um, interesting it gets. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing if you did. If you like this video, thank you very much. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you guys next time. Check the first comment to understand my current situation, which I mentioned earlier.